ASEAN Future Forum 2024 kicked off. Drone attacks targeted U.S. forces in Iraq, U.S. official says. Deadly workplace failure in Yenbai, an investigation is underway. You are watching today's news on NTV channel. My name is Ha Zhang, your host. Iraq security source said U.S. forces in the country and Syria faced two separate missile and drone attacks with explosives in less than 24 hours. Accordingly, two drones were shot down near An Al Assad Air Base, where U.S. troops are stationed in Anbar province in western Iraq. The attack occurred right after five missiles fired from northern Iraq had targeted the U.S. force base in Rumelan, northeast Syria one day earlier. There are currently no reports of casualties or major damage from the attacks. Previously in October 2023, an Iranian-backed Islamic armed group called the Islamic Resistance in Iraq claimed responsibility for the attacks, in response to Washington's support for Israel's war in the Gaza Strip. Everything only stopped at the end of January 2024 under pressure from the Iraqi and Iranian governments, after the US conducted airstrikes in Iraq in response to the death of three US soldiers in a UAV attack on a small base on the Iraq-Jordan border. At the moment, the US military has about 2,500 soldiers in Iraq, and 900 soldiers in eastern Syria on advisory and support missions. With the theme towards fast and sustainable growth of a people-centered Asian community, the first discussion session of the Asian Future Forum 2024, taking place today, April the 23rd, focused on discussing future directions to promote the Asian community to develop sustainably, inclusively, and self-reliantly. In a lively discussion atmosphere, the entire delegates proposed ways to apply scientific, technological advances and innovation to achieve the goal of harmony between prosperity and sustainable development. In addition, opinions also emphasized the importance of renewable energy, circular economy, green finance, sustainable supply chains and innovation in providing solutions to help countries increase their productivity economic and social growth while still being paying attention to environmental protection. In addition, the discussion session also focused on the role of artificial intelligence, Internet of Things, 5G, blockchain and emerging technologies in promoting innovation and sustainable and comprehensive recovery after the pandemic COVID-19. After daily workplace failure that killed seven workers in Yenbai on the afternoon of April the 22nd, Yenbai province is now urgently overcoming the consequences, at the same time conducting investigation to find out the cause of the incident. Up to now, Yenbai province has implemented policies to provide victims of the occupational accident with initial support solutions. The dead people have been sent to their families for the funerals. As for the injured workers, Yen Bai Provincial People's Committee has directed the police force to urgently conduct investigation according to law. In case of necessity, the province possibly asks the authorities of the Ministry of Public Security for help so that the investigation process can be done as quick and accurate as possible. Once enough evidence is collected, the case will be prosecuted for investigation and handling according to regulations. Coming up next are some of the news. At 9 a.m. this morning, April 23rd, the State Bank of Vietnam conducted the first gold bar auction after 13 years of suspension. 11 units including 7 banks and 4 businesses participated in the bid. The total volume of gold bars offered for bidding is 16,800 tails, equivalent to 631 kilograms of gold. As a result, only two bidders, SJC Company and ACB Bank, won the bid for 3,400 tails of gold. Accordingly, SJC Company won the bid for 2,000 tails with the price of 81.33 million Vietnamese dongs per tail. ACB Bank won the bid for 1,400 tails with the price of 81.32 million Vietnamese dongs per tail. 13.400 tails of gold left unsold at action.
right after an impressive opening ceremony of the 2024 Kalar Tourism Festival on the evening of April the 18th, tourists from all over have come to the coastal town. In addition to people from Vinh City, districts and towns in the province, there are many groups of tourists from Hanoi and the northern provinces coming to Kula Town for a long vacation. According to a quick report from the Department of Culture and Information of Kula Town, on the opening night of the festival, there were about 35,000 tourists visiting Kula. In total, during the three days of the opening of Tourism Festival, Kula welcomed over 65,000 visitors with a revenue of over 70 billion VND. On the early morning of April 23rd, Group C of the U23 Asian Tournament ended when U23 Thailand officially failed the goal of attending the Paris 2024. Meanwhile, U23 Vietnam and Indonesia have completed 50% of the goals when passing the group stage. However, to participate in the semi-finals, they must overcome very strong opponents in the quarter-finals. Indonesia will face South Korea, while Vietnam will meet defending champion Saudi Arabia or the former champion Iraq. It depends on the result of the Group D first place match with Uzbekistan at 10.30pm today, April 23rd. In recent days, more than 300 athletes from 12 mountainous districts and towns in Mian province have gathered to compete enthusiastically in Tanki district, Mian province within the framework of an ethnic sport competition 2024. In addition to volleyball and tug of war, athletes also competed in stick pushing, crossbow shooting, and tossing, traditional sports that have existed for a long time and are closely linked to the lives and daily routines of the local ethnic minorities. Therefore, the competition is considered a useful playground, a way to preserve and promote the traditional cultural strengths of ethnic minorities in Ngayan province. Even though I'm tired and exhausted, I have strong teammates. I think these sports should be maintained and developed because it represents strong teamwork and national spirit. In my locality, whenever the competition takes place, we compete in shuttlecock throwing, stick pushing and other sports. I participate with the spirit of learning. In order to have the competition held successfully, Tan Ki District carefully prepared things relating to facilities, the athletes. The success of the competition has contributed to the success of the activities to celebrate the Cultural Day of Vietnam's ethnic minorities April 19. It is known that ethnic sports competition is held alternately in mountainous districts in Gayan province. It's time to say goodbye, thank you for watching and hope to see you next time. Thank you.